Hey, what's going on, crypto people? <clears throat> Excuse me. It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life and the crazy life that is the digital asset space. <clears throat> wow. It is a, a very, very interesting time. Very, very, very interesting time to say the least. Wow. Extra Creek got up to 34 cents plus. Pretty cool. Absolutely pretty cool to see that. I mean, I've been, I've been, uh, uh, today I've been really doing a lot of stuff, uh, on some different platforms and, uh, it was really, really kind of cool to see on different platforms, the, the interest in the digital asset space, you just name the platform and there are people talking digital assets on all of these platforms. That is really, really exciting. Absolutely exciting to see. So yeah, I had to, um, <laughs> oh man it, it, it's, it's just like kind of a crazy thing um uh to keep purchasing xrp without question it, it's a uh, very very interesting betty very interesting to say the least so yeah i definitely wanted to take advantage of the you know three for dollar and probably will have another chance for it sooner uh in the, in a week or so maybe just a few days we'll see we'll see where it's going to um the, uh, the weekly close is going to be, we'll see what that's going to look like, right? As blockchain backer would say. So we'll see how that goes. If it's going to be 32 cents, 34 cents, 33 cents, anything above 30.5 is a good thing, right? So guys, man, some really, really interesting news. <laughs> Mickey B. Fresh shared something about Ripple hiring someone to be working directly with the central banks and their central bank digital initiatives and the XRP ledger. Isn't that interesting? Given the timing that Brad Garlinghouse, you know, we were all thinking, why did Brad just say that about uh, on that podcast where he said that um, he knows for certain that um, central banks are um, looking into the XRP ledger using the XRP ledger and he's like, it's open source. We can't stop them. You know, it was just something about that message, very uh, coded, if you will. And now look at this ripple high. I'm going to share that with you guys as well. Absolutely interesting. But let's take a look at the market. By the way, this is your XRP Ripple daily news. And the round zero to 10 minutes. Let's look at the market. Let's see where things are right now. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, so it's down a penny. That's very cool. So Bitcoin is at, oh, 18,598. Okay, all right, okay, given the time. Uh, Ethereum's over $505. XRP is down 33.6. I mean, it did get over 34 cents today, so it's down to 33.6 cents, and Chainlink's at 13.85. Uh, you know, we're still looking to see again is is the altcoins are the altcoins going to go with BTC or are they going to be left behind? <sighs> it's it's good to see green days uh, for XRP, you know, day after day after day. That is really really good. And for the most part, most of the digital assets are moving with crypto, however small the gain. So think about it: BTC's twenty four hour gain at the moment of doing this video is two point four percent. Ethereum is 4.06% and XRP is 11.27% in the last 24 hours. That is so very, very interesting. So excited to see that, but boy, I got to tell you, let me go over a couple of things. I had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to share today um, from Twitter. <laughs> And then I got that. Then I saw the crazy news about this ripple hire. And uh, gosh, I feel like that's just, that is the news of the day. I'm going to try to play this for you from um, uh, Hester Pierce. Have you guys been noticing <clears throat> ever since uh, Jay Clayton had announced that he was stepping down, you know, whether it be early or whatever it is, uh, you know, do it because I think his tenure wasn't over until you know, sometime in 2021. You, you're seeing these amendments, you're seeing these chains in the uh, modus of operandi, if you will, from the SEC, right? Like the no action letter for that particular 
uh, a firm or a company or a project that was issuing a coin and say this, they're not going to take any action, like a no action letter on that security, the security issue. Uh, I saw another thing from the SEC from Hester Pierce as well that hopefully I think I have it. But I do think it's interesting in the timing of uh, Jay Clayton leaving or essentially saying he's leaving and now all these kind of um, amendments to the way they do things changes into, into the way the SEC does things. I find that to be very, very interesting. Let's see if this will play for you guys. And so I think what a lot of people are running into now is if you've raised money for your project using venture capital, and now your project is ready to get off the ground and actually have people use it. So you're gonna use a token for that project and you wanna sell those tokens. So you know if you want to participate in the network, you've gotta buy a token. At that point, I don't think that what you're selling is a security. Again, depending on the facts and circumstances, the facts and circumstances always matter in securities law. But I think we've painted with such a broad brush that now it looks like anything that is in any way related to a token is a security. And I just, I don't think from a, from a securities law perspective, perspective that is accurate. So I think we have, to, we have to talk a little bit more precisely. If you're raising money for a company, sure, that's a security. But if you're just, if you're just selling something to be used in a functioning network, doesn't look like a security to me. Uh, yeah, so shout out to Bull Run Wonka for sharing this, my friend. Thank you, my friend. I definitely appreciate you sharing with the community. I always love your tweets, bro. So that, listen, <laughs> I'm not sure if she's making it any more clear or made it any more clear when she made that statement there. That's that's Ripple the company, right? They get the, you know, that's Ripple the company without question, right? That's They were gifted XRP. Right, they were gifted XRP. They didn't raise, they didn't use XRP to bring in some money for them so they could grow a business. <laughs> um, so that is some really, really exciting stuff. This says from Stephen Bull, Bull Deep, Stephen the Bull Deep. So I guess maybe this is a retweet or something, but that is very bullish. Bull run walking, very, very bullish again. Uh, it's exciting to see XRP be in the green for these last, I don't know, feels like seven to 10 days. <laughs> BTC is doing this thing uh, and XRP is kind of moving with it, right? That is encouraging to see. Hashtag two altcoin seasons, <laughs> two altcoin bull runs or altcoin seasons, alt, alt coins, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Yes, hashtag two alt season, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is an interesting thing to comment here from Victoria. Hello, Victoria. XRP fractal will start before 20, will start before 2021. This downwards channel will close in November. Ignore every YouTuber or post, Twitter post, that is saying we will soon pump hard. <laughs> Yeah, uh, is this supposed to be? It is a lie. It is a lie. This fractal given by the team from Ripple shows a major pump will occur in November, December 2020. So uh, I'm not sure if she's saying something good is going to happen or, or, or it's not going to happen. But in either case, this is, you see what's going on, right? You see XRP hit 34 cents. I think it was even 34 and a half cents. I'm not even sure why I shared that tweet. But it's, it's, it's interesting the way she phrase that so i'm not sure if she's saying something's going to happen in november december 2020 or not but right in the end the the, it, the market is going to do what the market does again here's another thing sec shout out to digital assets daily that dude is doing his thing on his youtube channel guys make sure you subscribe to digital assets daily on youtube and check them out he did a really good interview with uh i bet you would think it was him what was it digital asset news I forget which one. But anyway, he does some really great stuff. So sec.gov, SEC adopts amendments to modernize and enhance management's discussion and analysis and other financial disclosures. Amendments to modernize, right? Enhancements. I just, this is another one of those things that I feel like is coming out from the SEC once 
Clayton decided he was going to, you know, kind of leave early or whatever, right, um, at the SEC before his tenure ended, actually, literally ended, and they keep coming out with changes that they're going to be doing, a different way of doing business. And I just got to think uh, that this is very, very encouraging Yeah, very, very encouraging for the digital asset space. I just think as a whole, the Securities and Exchange Commission today announced that it, had, that it has voted to adopt amendments that will modernize, simplify, and enhance certain financial disclosure requirements and regulation as K. Now, you may be saying, well, this is for this thing here, and it's not really for crypto. But my thing is, is that they're, they're ch again, they're changing up in the way they're moving back away from what they used to do in the past. They're not going to just, right? They're changing their modus of operandi to keep up with what's really going on today. Today's rules will improve the quality and accessibility of the disclosure that companies provide their investors, including importantly, giving investors greater insight into the information management users to monitor and manage the tools. Okay, Clayton may have even put this together himself. It was another thing as well, but I do feel like for me, they're, they're stepping up their game and it, and it feels like uh, maybe this is Clayton just wanting to go out with, with you know, with the bang. <laughs> I thought this was pretty interesting as well. Oh man, XOP Crypto Quebec shared this. How you doing my friend? SoftBank CEO, Meso Yoshi son, invest $200 million in Bitcoin gets frustrated over daily fluctuations and sells all at $130 million loss. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bitcoin was a distraction from my business, he says. Now that's, that's tough. <laughs> that is some tough stuff right there. Uh, there's some, uh, okay, was this the same one she saw? No, so I think this is her responding to what I just read from the SEC. I was pleased to support the SEC's latest effort to update our disclosure requirements for public companies. Yes, I believe that's what it was. Yeah, to update, right? <laughs> Again, you know, maybe even they make a tweak to the definition of securities. How about that? Maybe they make a little tweak, right? Maybe they make a little adjustment. Maybe they modernize the way they look at things. Oh, goodness. This is an interesting thing here. And I'm going to get into the information of the day that I really do believe. Just the beginning, says CZ Binance, corporate Bitcoin frenzy. Companies now hold $15.3 billion in Bitcoin. $15.3 billion. This is why this bull run, no matter how many alt seasons we have, Right, how many alt bull runs we have? One or two. This is why it, the bull runs are going to be significant. It's going to it's going to make 2017, 18 look like child's play, because these major institutions are coming into this space, and it's not just institutions, hedge funds, Wall Street. It's CEOs of 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 companies like Michael Saylor, right? It's Stan Druckenmiller, right? It's uh, I think it's Stan or Dan, one or the other Druckenmiller, right? It's guys like that. That coming in to this space and, and, and putting their money where their mouth is. 15 guys, think about that, 15.3 billion in Bitcoin. Corporations now hold around 842,229 BTC, which at the current price of 18.2 are worth 15.3 billion. Dan Morehead. I just want to kind of pay attention because he's really pointing to something that's really, really significant. PayPal plus the Cash App already buying more than 100% of all newly issued Bitcoins. PayPal alone likely buying all within weeks. Where would Cash App get theirs? Where would Cash App get their BTC? That's where the finite supply in elasticity part comes in. 
at a higher price. Again, and you go back to what I just read about these corporations owning $15.3 billion worth of B. We didn't have that in the last bull run. We didn't have that kind of numbers in the last bull run. Can you only imagine what we're going to have now? Wow, wow, wow. And this for me is the news of the day. Shout out to that dude, Mickey B. Fresh, for sharing this with the community. We appreciate you, bro. This is an outstanding uh, bit of information. New high level Ripple job listing to work with central banks. Strategy, part strategy partnerships, and project work with central banks around the world with an initial focus on supporting their central bank initiatives on the XRP ledger. <laughs> you know, we say on this channel, um, the ILP, the XRPL, Codius, XRP, just pick one. Just freaking pick one. Are you kidding me? This is all right. Let's let's go over this. Now I have not read this. Let's go through this. This is what it says here. Uh, and Mickey B. Fresh took a screenshot and shared it with the community. I love the guys that share. Ripple is looking for a proven leader to lead our strategy, partnerships, and project work with central banks around the world <laughs> with an initial focus on supporting their central bank digital currency initiatives on the XRP ledger. Brad Garlinghouse, not, not even a week ago, is just on a podcast, you know, interview, Rick being interviewed. And he says that he knows that central banks are looking into the XRP ledger. Then he kind of, you know, hey, look, it's open source, you know, they can work on it and without, without us, you know, but we know for a fact that they're looking into it, you know, that it's open source. Hey, it's open source. It's open source. <laughs> but, you know, of course, you know, we being the experts and, you know, they'll probably reach out to us. Yeah, it'd probably be a smart thing on their part. Are you kidding me? Why did you just bring that up? Uh, interesting. So here it is. Uh, where am I? Focus on supporting their central bank digital currency initiatives on XRP Ledger. In this role, you will define and lead Ripple strategy with central banks. Build relationships with and educate central bankers around the world and secure and manage partnership with central banks to build and deploy projects. Key to success will be close collaboration and coordination with other teams at Ripple from product to engineering to legal slant, regulatory relations to marketing and communications, etc. You will serve as Ripple's industry thought leader on the intersection of digital assets and blockchain technology and central banks, including the future of CBDCs, central bank digital currencies. The team, RippleX mission is to inspire and enable the XRP community of developers and institutions to collectively build the internet of value, which will enable the world to move value like information moves today. We contribute to open source protocol development and innovation that enables the internet of vision. For example, the XRP ledger, the interledger protocol and pay ID. We build tools and other services programs 
and support to enable developers to build on the XRPL. And we partner with financial service firms and institutions to develop solutions that use the XRPL and XRP. Now this is Spring, right? Early Spring was now uh, Ripple X was formerly known as Spring. But anyway, some key responsibilities here. Develop a strategy for central bank engagements in partnership with Ripple product, engineering, regulatory relations, and marketing with an initial focus on developing a CBD strategy. Right? So initial strategy means, uh, initial focus means there's, there'll, be a, there'll be a second focus and a third focus. <laughs> right? In other words, this is just not the only plan they have. So with an initial focus on developing a CBDC strategy, own partnerships with central banks on CBDC projects, partnerships, proactively managing a target list and pipeline of banks and projects and driving the deal process from start to finish, attain a strong working knowledge of the product to present demos and pitches and answer product questions manage CBDC projects against the timeline. Proactively planning to for resource requirements and ensuring a quality experience for our central bank partners. We could be first got some stuff highlighted. So I'm just going to go over the highlighted stuff. Develop strong relationships with central bankers and their technology partners and educate this ecosystem of players in CBDCs. Act as a spokesperson and thought leader on CBDCs. Regularly speaking at conferences with media, bylining blog posts, posting on social media, etc. Lead Ripple's participation in prominent and influential industry groups on CBDCs. Here are some of the requirements for this job. I'm just going to read the one. 10 plus years in enterprise technology sales or account management, experience selling to large financial institutions or central banks, and global sales experience strongly preferred. A strong Rolodex of central bank executives and influencers, a bonus. <laughs> wow, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is a ripple job hire. That is some very, very interesting stuff. You, you know, I, I, you know, I don't think that they're going to put a position out like that if there isn't any interest on the other end. I mean, the word has been out for I don't know how long that Ripple's been working with these 50 governments or however many central banks working with, right, working with. What does that look like? Educating them, holding their hand, answering questions perhaps when they need questions answered maybe doing tests without telling people that they're doing tests. And now that this seems like, for me, it seems like the rule uh, has slid or what I want to say, it's weighing in favor now. It's, there's enough interest, let's put it to you that way, to put out a job position. There's enough interest in the central banks Using the XRP ledger, there's enough interest to warrant this job hire. That is absolutely exciting to hear about. <laughs> wow. That is really, really exciting news, guys. I'm going to end that video, end this video with that. Shout out to that dude, Mickey B. Fresh. Wow. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to end this video like I do all of my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time 
for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in while we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.